Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm Clever Little Imp, and welcome back to My Child Levin's Born. And look at Karen in her cute little red dress. Today's the day. I'm starting school like a big girl. Uh, so how about we get you ready? Are you excited? That's right. Let's get you ready for your big day. Mm-hmm. Almost ready to go. Oh, and it's your first day at your new job, too. Maybe soon we can afford a nice backpack to carry my school books. I think I saw one in the shop. We'll see. You have to do well at school. I'll try to get you one, but I'll have to see if we can afford it first. Uh, now that sounds like a great idea. That does sound like a great idea. Let's get you that backpack. Nice! I'm gonna get a backpack! It actually reminds me I need to go backpack shopping soon for my daughter. Okay, um, let's go wash her face first. Because that does not cost us any time. And it also does not fix your hygiene. Perfect. Do we have anything to cook? We do not. Okay. Hopefully we have food. Yes, okay. It's been a minute since I've played this, so I was like, I really hope we've got some food for you. Um nom. You make some nice berry toast, apparently. Munch munch. I think that's going to be all we can afford to do today. Um, see, it looks like she's got some spots on her face. Like, maybe from the food? But it didn't do anything when I tried to wash her face a minute ago. Tickle! Okay. Let's play ball. Why not? We got time. Yay! Um, I'm nervous. Do you think you could walk me to school? I'm sorry, I can't be late for work. Don't be nervous, you'll do great. I don't think I can, but how about we walk some of the way together? Really? Thanks! You're the best! Going to school. To send Karen to school, go outside and tap the red building. School lasts until the afternoon. So she'll be at home alone then, while I'm at work. Thank you for walking me here. The school is really big, isn't it? Be strong and confident. Show everyone how smart you are. If anyone gives you trouble, tell the teacher, yes? That's just setting somebody up for failure. Just be nice and polite. Everyone will think you're great. Uh, let's go with strong and confident. Well, I guess I am pretty smart. Oh, Liv is waiting for me. Bye. Well, didn't mean need much of a confidence boost, did she? Look at our little Karen on her way to school. Doing good. Okay, let's check the store. Oof. $200 for a backpack. Dang. Okay. Um, we only have one thing of food at home. There's other shelves. That's a big meal. Okay, what if for now... See, I left... I had 110 when I left. I got 180 now. So... Let's just get, like, two porridges, and then tomorrow we'll worry about getting, like, some more food. That way I can afford her backpack. Oh, she looks sad. I'm home. How was your first day? Did you behave? What's wrong, Karen? Oh, God! The end of the world! She's slightly sad! How was your first day at school? Oh, you know what that just reminded me of? If any of you have seen, um, if it was for my daughter, I'd even slay a demon lord. My reaction just then was spot on Dale. School was strange and not nice at all. I was trying to make some friends, but, well, everybody kept staring at me and didn't talk to me. I haven't done anything wrong. Oh, I'm so sorry. She just said she tried talking to people. Why would you ask her if you talked to anyone? What? What's wrong with those kids? Well, they just don't know her. 
So, maybe if they get to know me, they might be nice? So, we can be friends? <sighs> you said it would be fun. Can't trust you, Les. I don't have control over those kids! Honey, come on now. Don't make me feel bad for... Let's go eat your dinner. Oh, picture! Oh. Picture. All the kids shunning her. It's beautiful. A new entry has been added to the photo album. Right. Nom noms. Chomp chomp. Could you help me look at my school book? Yeah, of course. My teacher might ask someone to answer questions tomorrow. <laughs> Literally, yeah, of course. Don't worry about school, or don't worry about homework, it only just started. I don't really have time. No, we're gonna help her. Oh, thank you. The book is in my room. Yep. Okay, she just like dipped. Did not want to even eat any more food at all. Ready? Here we go. And like she could have too, because the uh, it doesn't take any of your time away. She can eat as much as she wants. If Lynn and Pierre each had an apple and Lynn gave Pierre her apple, how many apples would Pierre have? Two. Yes, that's what I thought too. Okay, next one. If Pear ate one of his apples, how many apples would he have left? One. Mm-hmm. Alright, last one. If Pear Mom's bring Pear's mom brings four more apples and she tells Pear and Lynn to share all the apples fairly, how many apples should Pear give to Lynn? Okay, hang on. Um, so he had two, he ate one. Lynn has none, so she should have... Oh god. Two and a half? Because that would give him another apple, which would make two, and then the half would make a half, so... Two and a half. Pear should give Lynn two and a half apples. Yeah, I got it right! What? He already had two apples from before, even if he had one. Right, so she should get two and a half apples. Is that not what that said? So that wouldn't be fair. Thank you for helping me. Oh, she's counting the apple he ate. Not She didn't mean, like, how many, like, physically would he be able to hold in his hands. So he should have given her three apples and he should have gotten one. See, this is, like, ugh, math sucks. It just does. Tickle. Um, we've got time for bath time or I have mail. Which should I do? Um, let's do mail, I guess. This is just gonna be those pictures, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do mail, I guess. Oh, it's just a paper. In the news, skybound conflict over Korea, 17 American F-86 jet planes and almost 60 communist MIG aircraft met in a violent battle over North Korea today. Again, my ignorance is showing. I don't know what battle that is. I don't know what that's about. <sighs> I'm so tired after today. I could sleep a whole week. That's the thing, it's called Sleeping Beauty Syndrome. Look it up. I'm not sure I like school. Even the teacher, Miss Hansen, seemed kind of mean. You'll work harder than everyone and earn their respect. No, that's too much pressure. Growing up means learning from the challenges you face. Yeah. It'll get better, I'm sure of it. No, you, you'll learn from the challenges you face. Maybe I've changed my mind. Maybe I don't want to be a grown-up after all. Um, is it okay if you read me a bedtime story? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Castles! And castle! And castle! Uh-oh. <laughs> the third castle got stuck. Night-night! August 22. We get the rest of our books soon. I don't have a backpack though. 
the other kids have backpacks for their books. Well, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get it today to, to do today. There's so much more important things we need to spend money on. I'm not sure if we can afford a backpack. As it happens, yeah, I might be getting you a backpack very soon. Really? Oh, wow! I hope we can afford one. I hate that she's worried about money. Yay, newspaper. Is that a duck in the bottom right corner? Look, we got more mail. Okay, that's all you have to say? Um, if I can't clean her face enough... Yeah, it's not cleaning her clothes. Oh, we can change clothes though, yeah? Yeah. Um... How about some new clothes? Whoop. Yay! Okay, now we're gonna go feed you. Really hoping that I will be able to afford the backpack and more food. I'm not very good with math, obviously. I'm not sure that I want to go. But I have to go, or Liv will be on her own. Maybe the kids will be nicer if I was like them and had a backpack. You're really pushing for this backpack. I mean, she's in like, what? First grade? How many books do you have to carry? The other kids all have one. Saying no to getting a backpack, yes. So you're not sure. Yeah, absolutely I'm getting a backpack. Can I get one? I just said yes. Yes, but for school, not to prove your worth. I'll get you one, but probably won't make the other kids nicer. Of course, Karen, anything to make you happy. Uh, I mean, I do want to say anything to make you happy, because, like, that's my baby, right? But also, I don't want her to think it's gonna do anything as far as, like, making the kids nicer. I'm not about the social, like, you know, the class system. I'm not about that kind of stuff. Um... Yeah, let's just say it won't make the kids nicer so she doesn't expect anything. Thank you! Oh, I don't get to, like, actually walk her this time. Yeah! We got money for the backpack! And... It really doesn't matter what I choose because we can only afford one. No, shoot! keep doing that. But at least by getting the porridge, though, I'm saving a little bit of money and, like, I should go to the forest and stuff. We're saving a little bit of money and then, uh, you know, tomorrow all of the money I make can go straight towards food. But... Somebody called me a bad word today. They said I'm a bastard because I don't have a real family. How do they not know? How do they know? Our family is far better. That's unkind. Uh, they're wrong on many levels. Yeah, our family's different, but it's not bad. But I don't want to be different. I'm sorry. I, I like our family. But they all have a mom and a dad. No one got left behind. Who are my parents? I want to know. You promised me. You said you'd tell me when I was big. And look. I'm big now. Why? Why would they call me a, a bastard? That just means your parents weren't married, which is true. I don't know why, Karen. You're too young to worry about these things. Well, never, never treat a kid like they're dumb. Don't ever do that. Karen, I'll trust you more than before. And that's the exact reason why. Don't ever treat a kid like they're dumb. Unless it's a topic that's like absolutely they don't need to know about or they don't need to understand. Don't ever treat them like they're dumb. But that's no reason to pick on you. That doesn't matter. That doesn't change who you are. That doesn't make you any less wonderful to me. Yeah, that's no reason to pick on her. They weren't married? Who were they? I wish I knew more about my parents. Please tell me. It's not a good idea. I'll try to find out more, even if it might be unpleasant. You should focus on the good things we have instead. Oh, no. Um... Because I have a feeling 
The only reason they told us about the time period was because she's going to wind up being the child of a German soldier, which was a, a, a huge thing that happened. Um, and then the children were all shunned and put up for adoption, and it was awful for them, but... I mean, she does have a right to know, though. Promise. Promise that you'll find out. I mean, I might not tell her, you know, right away. But she does eventually have the right to know. Uh, okay. I promise I'll try. Try. The key word there is try. I'll finally know who my parents are. Contact Karen's biological mother. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I guess I would know then. If she is the child of a German soldier, then I would be in contact with the mother who I adopted her from. What's that? It's a surprise, guess. I got you something. It's a surprise. Is it a bat? No, sorry, I got you an ostrich instead. It is, isn't it? It is, it is! You got one, just like you promised! Of course I did. Thank you so much! It's perfect! Karen, I'll trust you more than before. You're welcome, you deserve it. Just be careful with it. Enjoy. Yeah, you deserve it. I can't wait to show this to Liv! Um, let's see. Tickle. Let's go eat. I did get- well... If I eat now, though, she goes to school hungry in the morning and, like, that's terrible for learning. But I also don't think there's a way that I'm gonna be able to avoid that. Um nom nom. Hey, let's play! Uh, sure, let's draw, let's play hide and seek. Okay, we can go outside. Okay, yeah! Okay, we can go outside, that's perfect! Because if she'll go to the to the woods, then um, we, can, we can pick berries. I mean, right? Yes! Ooh, mushrooms too. It's getting late. We should head back home. Oh, that's all I can get? Whatever. We had a lot of fun, though. Yes. I mean, at least we got something, you know? And we can cook it tomorrow for breakfast. School is different than to what I expected. The other kids aren't as fun as I thought. But maybe learning new things will be fun. Learning's why you're there. School is complicated. You'll do great. Uh, yeah. Learning's why you're there anyway. Did that upset you? Things will change now that I'm all grown up, huh? You're still a kid. Don't say that. She just said I'm all grown up. Don't call her a kid. Don't be little be little her like that. Yeah, as you grow up, you'll get to discover the world on your own. Even as you grow, you'll always be my little girl. Don't say that either. <laughs> don't just don't. <gasps> the whole world? Oh, that's really big. I'll be here to take care of you. I trust you to make your own choices. You'll always be just right to me. That wasn't really relevant to what she just said. Um, let's go with... I don't want to go with the one in the middle. Because even though that is the more like grown-up answer, like acknowledging that she's more grown-up, I still want to ruffle her hair or tickle her. I'll be here for you, or you'll always be just right. Let's go with you'll always be just right, because that's also like, you don't have to do anything, you know? You're perfect as you are. <laughs> that tickles. You're just right too. You take good care of me. And I take care of you too, now that I'm big. I'm sorry if I made you upset. I don't need another parent. I have you. I would just be nice to know about them. It's getting late. Time for sleep. I'll see what I can find out. Oh, bedtime. Yeah, she'll have to go without the story. Mm-hmm. Can you read me a bedtime story? Oh, okay. I guess I can still read it to her. Yay! Thank you! A journal for Karen has been added to the study. That's the smart idea with her asking about her parents and all that. 
at least I can like have proof that I tried, you know? Or at least like if I get a letter back from her mother, I could be like I can stick it in that journal. And then when she's old enough to understand all of this, I can give it to her. It's pretty outside. I didn't see what day it is, other than August 23rd. The factory is understaffed. Due to understaffing, we will ask you to occasionally work overtime with increased compensation. Overtime work will end in the evening. Okay. Um, your clothes don't look bad, so let's just wash your face for now. Scubby scubby scub. Okay. Oh look, another picture. <laughs> of a backpack. Jesus, she really wanted that backpack. Thought I could get it for her. Yay, mushroom toast. That's all we got until I get home from work today. Munch, munch. It'll be fine, though. My backpack is so pretty. New entry has been added to the photo album. Oh, it's going to be her and her backpack, isn't it? That's going to be cute. Ooh, overtime. I kind of want to take it, not going to lie. I hope she's not mad at me for that. Oh. Oh, good lord. I should not have left you alone. Hi. Now you're home. Can we eat? Uh, um, no. Honey, I'm sorry. It's getting late. I know. I'm trying to wash your face. I'm not trying to, like, I'm not trying to give you a bath. Sorry, we, uh, we don't got any food. I found some sticks on my way home from school. That's probably why she's muddy. Have a look. Maybe we can make something with it. You receive new crafting materials. Awesome. Can you read me that story I like? Uh, yeah. I mean, there's other stuff I should do, but I just left her home alone all day. The least I can do is read her a story. And I got a new journal entry, apparently. Good night. August 24th, Friday. Let's see, Sunday's my day off, right? Good morning! I'm ready for today! I really don't think so. Neighborhood Council. This is a warning. We have had numerous complaints about German language being spoken in the neighborhood. This is unacceptable and has to stop immediately. Who would be speaking German? Um... I might as well give her a bath. I mean, I don't have any food to give her, so... Give her a bath, and then I guess maybe go to the study. Um, so the Shunning Kids backpack. Her in her backpack. Cool. What was the journal? No. Oh, there's the journal. Dear Karen, Today I promised that I would find out more about your parents, but I don't know if I'll be able to find the answers you hoped for. So I'm starting this journal. I'll give it to you when you're old enough to understand if I can learn the story of your parents. At least you'll know I tried, and you'll know more about the war and what happened afterwards. This is what I know. Three years ago, I answered an ad in the newspaper saying, Three-year-old child up for adoption. Reference war child. See? Knew it. I dearly wanted a child, as I hoped you know in your heart your mother told me that your father was a german soldier called it and that she was only 16 and unmarried when she had you in 1944 she refused to say more she had married a man from the resistance and made me promise to keep you away from her new life that's rough i've written your mother no i haven't she might want to help, although she doesn't want contact. It's hard to understand why a mother would abandon her child, but many of the mothers who had children with German soldiers did indeed give them away. It is thought around 12,000 such children were born in Norway during World War II, most of them to young women and teenagers like your mother. 12,000. I'm legitimately upset over that. 
12,000! 12,000. Start to write letter. Name of mother, Siri. Address... I can't read. I'm not gonna... Dear Siri, I know I promised to leave you alone, but I have to write to you now. Karen has started school, and what we feared is happening. She really needs to know the truth about her father. Could you please tell me more for Karen's sake? Kind regards. We're either not going to hear anything back, or she's just going to be like, hey, go away. I guarantee it. Because I highly doubt someone married to the Resistance would want a war child back. I'm so upset about that number. <laughs> I'm not even joking. My eyes are like watering. Advertisement. Buy your backpacks at Steensland Sport this week only. We have several colors and models. Handy for hiking. We also have a range of wonderful school bags. Well, it's a good thing we already got ours. My backpack is really nice. I'm glad you like it. I'll give you a couple tickles before we go to school. Okay. And I'm off to work. Hopefully there's no overtime today. I mean, I know I had the choice of going home, but we really needed the money too, so... Okay... Don't come by as an apolog apologetic dinner. Obviously not something too expensive. Let's go with this, actually. Why not? Um, we'll get like three of these and maybe three of these. And we still got 45 left over, so we should be good. We'll build up our money again. I'm home. I learned a lot today. Good. Everyone was really excited today. We were supposed to have another teacher, Mr. Solheim. But he can't work. I don't know why. We're getting a different teacher called Mr. Berg. I wonder what he'll be like. I sure hope he's nicer to me than Miss Hansen. What are these noises that are happening? These sound effects? I love my backpack. Didn't you just say that? Tickle, tickle. Okay. I want to... I just accidentally tickled her again. I'm gonna go ahead and make this while we've got the time. And she can have some hot soup for dinner. Do the different, um... Foods fill her up to different degrees? Maybe? Munch, munch. I think we'll just go with the one meal tonight. I'm tired. Pretty much for that reason. Mm, Mr. Burke sounds like someone who would be strict. A story before sleep would be nice. Do you have time? Uh, of course I have time. Wow, thank you. Castles and castles. You know what I should do with my $45? I should buy another book. And Saturday, the 25th. She'll be home alone while I go to work, yeah? Mm, I'm so hungry. Hello. It's Saturday, so no school today. Yippee! I want to play with Liv today. Uh, okay. Let's get you ready first. Uh, okay. I mean, why are you upset? I'm going to wash your face and then I'm going to feed you. Be grateful. I don't even eat, apparently. <laughs> We don't have anything to cook. Oh, I can... No, I work. So I say I can uh, do that craft thing that she brought me. So now? Hold on, have fun. Liv and I are going to play by the lake. Bye! I don't know how comfortable I am with that. Sounds like a recipe for drowning. I'm not working overtime. Oh no, they offered me overtime. I just... If I work overtime, am I going to come back and, like, she's drowned in the lake? <sighs> she's smart. I'll do... I'll do overtime. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. You know? When you're a struggling parent. Like, sometimes you have to make the worst decision. I was waiting for you. I know. I'm sorry. Is it bedtime soon? Yeah... I'm sorry. I just want to give you the best things in life, and sometimes that means I have to be away. Be cool. 
Oh, can I tickle you again? Oh, now I can tickle you more. She wasn't. She. It wouldn't go up a minute ago. Uh, can you? Would you maybe read me a story? Yeah, I gotta make up for having overtime. Okay, thank you. My true self is coming out in this video game, and I don't like it. Cause like that is me. If I was ever at the gated community that I worked for when I was offered overtime, I was like, yeah, I'll take it. And like, I really shouldn't have done that kind of stuff. It's Sunday, so can you come outside with me today? Of course. And if we have a fishing rod, we can go fishing. Me and Liv found some berries too. Maybe we can go pick them. Okay, um, let's go wash your face. And that must have been the crafting supplies she brought or else she wouldn't have said anything, right? Yeah. Fishing rods. I don't want her to be hungry, but I also do need to patch this other dress up so that she can have two dresses or three dresses now. You're going to be fancy. You you will own more dresses. Oh no, that's not the one I wanted. You're going to own more dresses than any girl in your grade. Oh no. Can I not? No. Apparently I can't fish. I guess I had to do all three. Berries. I don't think I didn't think we'd find any berries today. You just said Liv saw them here. I really want to go draw. Okay. Do you want to come and help me? That sounds great. Nice, let's go! Ami? Omi? Who's that? It turned out really good, don't you think? I think I want to keep this one, though. We can sell the next one. Of course you can keep your drawing. That's a good idea. Who did you draw? As you wish. Why did you write the word Ami? Ami? Mm. I think that's what I called her. Such a nice drawing. She must be lovely. Who is she? That doesn't answer my question. Who is she? I don't really remember. But she was so nice to me. Um, okay, I'm not, uh, okay, I'm not a linguistics es expert or anything like that, but I've learned, you know, the basics in enough languages to put one and one together, make two, you know, I'm pretty sure Ami is going to wind up being German for mother. Unless I'm wrong, and this is actually... Well, no, I can't be wrong, because if it was a Norwegian word, then she, he wouldn't, or the parent, wouldn't be asking why she used that word. Um, because Oma is another form of mother. Can't, uh, is that Japanese? Anyway, it's another language. That's, that's their word for mother. I really like playing with Liv. She says I'm funny. She laughs when I say my strange words. Oh, what strange words? Oh no. Who taught her German? Strange words. I'm glad you have a friend like Liv. Don't let her trick you into using rude words. Yeah, don't let her trick you. I won't. Uh, can you... Would you maybe read me a story? Course. Okay, thank you. Entry has been added to the journal. She's out there speaking German. Who taught her German? I've written your mother. Your mother. You shouldn't think ill of your mother. It is true that some Norwegian women had German boyfriends because they could offer better food, luxury items, and parties. And some were also informers betraying other Norwegians. 
but most were young women who probably simply fell in love. During the occupation, there were over 350,000 German soldiers in Norway, in a country with only 3 million people. Many of them lived in private homes, and many were still teenagers. When you grow older, you'll learn that you can't control who you fall in love with. Oh, man. I mean... I'm not going to say I was prepared to deal with her being the child of a German soldier. But I was not expecting her to be speaking German. She was three when we adopted her. I'm not going to try and sit here and do the math, but she was three when we adopted her, so she would have been speaking. But why... I mean, she... The mother must have known at that point before that point that, you know, the the Germans were going to pull out of Norway. Why would you allow him to speak German? I mean, I understand young and dumb because I think it did say she was a teenager, but <sighs> why? Why would you teach her German words? Knowing the world that she might be a part of. Because she would have had her at the end of the war. Three years after the... No! No! Three years after the war, we adopted her. After occupation. Three years after occupation. So, the, the Norwegian mother would have had to have taught her those German words. She literally set this girl up for failure. That's effed up. I need whoever this woman is to write me back ASAP. Like, this is not okay. Alright, anyway. On that depressing note, I gotta leave this episode here. I'm sorry, but I do. Um, I'm out of time. So, go ahead and leave a like if you're liking this game. Uh, leave a comment. I'm afraid to read them. And subscribe if you want to see more. I promise not all of my content is like this. You've just caught me on a good day. Alright, well thank you so much for watching. Like I said, I will see you guys next time. Bye!